Mr. Chairman, Honorable Justice M. Kennedy, <coughs> very esteemed Honorable Justice Mr. Singh Sinkaya, former Chief Justice of India, Professor Umar Hassan Kasule, Dr. Muhammad Manjur Arun, Mrs. Andrew Fai, foreign delegates, members from the press, delegates coming from various parts of India, <coughs> representing <coughs> major educational and research <coughs> organizations. It's a matter of indeed a very, very great pleasure that we people are meeting for having a seminar on such a vital, vital theme. <clears throat> Actually, this function has got two elements of importance. One is that it is the concluding <coughs> seminar regarding the 30th anniversary of Institute of Objective Studies. And second is that the Institute took up a challenge of addressing the issues of the Constitution of India. And we people initiated a big program consisting four sem seminars and conferences on towards liberty, equality, justice and fraternity in contemporary India, creating better tomorrow. Creating better tomorrow is the main theme and we have made this theme into four segments. Like when we say through law, second is through history, third is through education, and fourth is through Islamic studies, and these seminars were conducted at Srinagar, Kolkata, Chennai, and Jodhpur with collaboration of various universities. The response was extremely encouraging. Another element that was aimed at was that we were trying to identify the human resource which fits into our framework and that can, that can carry forward the ideals for which the IOS is working. <clears throat> Institute of Objective Studies actually is basically a research organization. We have got major program on research, all kinds of research conceptual research, field research, action research, and so on. And the method is that anybody can submit us the research proposal along with necessary budget, etc., etc. And second is that we sponsor research and identify the experts around and ask them or request them to kindly follow it up and do the research. Except from research, we people are also very much into surveys because surveys provide you the latest information and data about the condition of various communities because the focus is on the marginalized sections of Indian society, lessons from Quran and Quranic sciences, lessons from Islamic philosophy and perspective, that way we people foster it ahead. <clears throat> Apart from surveys and research, we people are into, in a big way, that is the publication. Publication is of two sorts. One is of books and another is of regular journals and regular quarterlies. We have published nearly 400 books 
in English, Hindi, Urdu, Arabic, etc. And then we are trying and selecting certain good books. There is a committee for this to screen the books and to suggest that such and such book should be translated into the regional languages of India so that it reaches to the last man. <coughs> Human rights today, we have got, in Urdu we have got Mutajat, it is quarterly. We have got IUS, Current Affairs and Minaret. Apart from that, we have one in Urdu, that is Nukta Nazar. Apart from translations and publications, we are also into conferences and seminars, as you are seeing this, and most of you have attended earlier also. So we try to keep up the standards of the seminar to a maximum level, whatever is possible within our limits and resources. We have also got a data bank and that provides figures and facts and data about all marginalized sections of Indian society. Like Muslims, like Dalits, like Adivasis, like Tribals, and so on. We also have got a program of scholarship that we award to the MPhil students, PhD students, and those students who are far from the madrasa and they want to continue for the higher studies, they are also given scholarships. Apart from that, we have got certain early events like we have got Shah Valiullah Award that we started in 1998. Another award is IUS Lifetime Achievement Award. Apart from that, we have got Qazi Mujahidul Islam Qasmi Memorial Lecture that is annually held. And we run a center for computer science learning for girls in the <coughs> institute building. This is how we people are operating. We request you to come forward, to submit your ideas, to submit your proposals, and to submit your suggestions also to us, so that we take up a right, time, a right kind of an action at the right point of time. We welcome you on behalf of the Institute of Objective Studies, its governing council, its General Assembly, its staff, its associates, everybody on board, welcome. And this welcome is really sincere and we want that this welcome should continue in terms of having constant relationship with the Institute in future. Thank you very much.